wrote some names down. <laughs> but uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, for years, um, I guess he's lived in uh, San Jose for 50 years. Uh, finally convinced him to move down by me uh, two years ago, and he said, you know, there's just one thing, Mike. You, I'm really mad at you because you didn't tell me 10 years ago to move down there. And now we, uh, you know, our kids play together. We, we do all these activities. We probably see each other four or five times a week doing something. So uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, I, I, uh, I tell that story to Stacy, and he's like, what? You guys, really? <laughs> um, I wish Stacy could be here tonight. He, he uh... He sent me a note. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank uh, Steve Van Dorn for getting this place and uh, taking it out of the uh, Motel 6 lobby <laughs> and uh, doing everything he does for all the skaters. Um, also, uh, I'd like to thank Laura Thornhill for putting up with us and all the HOF people for making this happen. Um, also, uh, you know, I grew up in Florida, skating, uh, you know, whatever we could find, rainbow wave, skate wave. Um, Sensation Basin. The Abrasion Basin, where Rodney Mullen's from. Uh, you know, one of Florida's first pros, uh, George McClellan, is here tonight at my table. Um, he's a few years older than me. I was like 12 or 13. He would drive like an hour to pick me up to go skate with him. <laughs> Um, guys like Paul Schmidt helped me to travel around Florida and uh, gave me the encouragement to, you know, keep on doing what I like to do. Um, let's see. And of course, you know, Alan Gelfin, uh, who invented the Ollie, of course. Um, I'm from a small town in Florida, just outside of Tampa. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of people there. I mean, uh, you know, but he recognized me as, you know, somebody he wanted to share uh, his uh, life with. And uh, he invited me to California for the first time to meet Stacy Peralta. And uh, eventually, um, I took some pictures with James Casimus, thank you, and got my first picture uh, in a magazine. Uh, I remember going to the drugstore when I got home to Florida, and Stacy said, yeah, it's in there. And I opened up the magazine, and I kept looking, I, I looked at it three times, I'm like, I don't care how small it is, it's my first picture, I don't care. And then I opened up the centerfold, and there I was. Ooh. It was ridiculous. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, all the other photographers, like uh, Grant Britton, of course, MoFo, Jim Goodrich, of course, took all those photos of uh, the Pepsi, crazy Pepsi thing there in uh, Venezuela. Um, I think I was 13. Uh, I went out of the country for the first time. I don't know what my parents were thinking, letting me go over there. There's like people with machine guns. and uh, <clears throat> I think I met Ellen O'Neill, Tony Alva, and all kinds of crazy people there. Um, <laughs> Uh, I just want to also share, you know, I used to have these posters on my wall when I was about 12 years old in Florida. And uh, there was a picture of Stacy Peralta, Jay Adams, uh, I, a bunch of those guys. And within three years, I was telling Steve this the other day, I met, I, I, I tried to remember, I met Stacy Peralta, Jay Adams, Shogo Kobo, Tony Alva, Polar Bear, Dave Hackett, uh, guys like Brad Bowman, the infamous Steve Olson. Uh, and uh, I, it was just very uh, surreal for me to, to meet all those guys. Uh, uh, and it's such an honor to be up here with uh, the company of those guys. And uh, also want to thank my wife for putting up with me. And uh, I, I don't think she really understood skateboarding until uh, Stacy made that Bones Brigade documentary, and she said, you know what, honey, y you can go skate anytime you want, <laughs> you know? I was like, all right. <laughs> and uh, also, you know, I, I saw Eric Dressen uh, a few months ago at, uh, <clears throat> at the Elgato Classic, which all you guys should go to that. 
and he was skating in the pool, just ripping, you know, and I said, you know, I'm going to say something to him. I was like, hey, Eric, you know, I, I used to want to be you, man. <laughs> I wanted to be your neighbor. And he's like, why? Why would you, why, what are you talking about? And I said, you skated with Tony Alva. He lived down the block or something. Like, I, I wanted to be you, man. You skated with all those Dogtown boys. Anyway, um, thank you guys for everything. And, uh,